industries in France are humming again. The Crucial Purchasing Managers Index, or PMI, shows manufacturing expanded for the first time in more than a year. Now, the PMI in June was up more than a point to 50.5. Now, anything above 50 indicates growth, and that's encouraging since economic growth in France had been sluggish. One key measure designed to boost economic growth in France is the controversial Macron law. Now, it's meant to cut the country's red tape. For example, tight restrictions that they have on opening up and doing Sunday trade. It's named after its author, the economy minister, Emmanuel Macron. He told our Jim Bitterman what he wants to achieve with the reforms. We delivered, and it will be voted by mid-July, a series of reforms in products and goods market and labor market. I mean, what's the philosophy of these reforms? It's first, enabling the outsiders. We have a series of sectors completely frozen, locked by a series of regulation. And this law progressively opens this regulation. The second point, and for me one of the key items of this law and this reform program, is reducing the cost of failure in this country. But you have people within your own party who are opposed to this and the government had to use an extraordinary procedure, parliamentary procedure, to get your law passed. That's absolutely true that we have a lot of uncomfort on our own majority with this kind of measure because we didn't refresh basically our own ideology and our, our, I mean our own software I would say. We need a new political software and this software means that we have to think about France in globalization and being a leftist is not just to preserve status and to preserve the statu quo is how basically to help France to succeed in this globalization by preserving our social model you've got more reforms coming down the line exactly you know? like right, what? exactly what, what kind? I think we we want to push and promote more reform on the digital side second we will keep on reforming projects and goods markets services and labor market. You're going to have people on the streets. No, I don't think so. I think that French people are very much aware of the necessity of this reform and they want to succeed in globalization. When you look at the current situation, you were right basically to mention the political tensions at the National Assembly and the fact that we had to enforce this law. But did you see a lot of people in the streets? No. Because people are aware of the situation. French people just want to succeed in globalization and I think they are very far from the image than a few people conveyed about France. France is back.